All right, turning now to your weather forecast. As that rain moves out today, we are looking at a little bit of a cool down. Is that yes, right? Yes, yeah. All some right. cooler airs on the way. It's going to feel more refreshing, I think, okay. more than anything else. I know some people are going to say it feels like fall, but <laughs> summer is still here. And trust me, we do have a warm up coming as you get into next weekend and the week after that. But right now, nice conditions across about half of the region. Some of us are still looking at some rain showers. Temperatures are in the low to mid 70s at this moment. Still plenty of clouds hanging around. And again, a few showers showers still on radar. We have kind of one line more so of the heavier showers now moving into Monroe and Lenawee counties. But as you take a look a little bit farther to the north, there's still a couple of showers out there. One just about to arrive in Ann Arbor. We've had isolated thunderstorms, but for the most part, these are just some showers and they're really good too. Some of them bringing just about a quarter of an inch in a matter of about 10 minutes. As you take a look big picture wise, again, still big system that is slowly tracking off to the east. Eventually it will be out of here and we are going to have cooler and dry drier air filtering in as we get into tomorrow as well as moving into Tuesday. But as this cool and drier air filters in, it is going to bring us a chance for some showers, but only for a portion of the area. I'll have more in just a second. But through this evening, expect showers to be ending for the most part. Widespread showers ending overnight tonight. We are quiet, but our winds will be out of the north northeast. So coming in off of Lake Huron. So as we head throughout your Monday, I do expect clouds to increase even more than what this model is showing, and we have a chance for stray shower or two best will be north of the city of Detroit. And if you do live closer to Lake Huron, think of tomorrow's weather almost like dare I say it lake effect snow, but it's not going to be snow, but that usually happens when you have cold air going over warm lake waters. That's what we're going to see now. But of course, our air temperatures are too warm to support snow, so we're going to have a chance for a few spotty rain showers as the cooler air goes over the warmer lake waters at this moment. So that's all we're looking at tomorrow. Otherwise, we get back to some drier conditions for the rest of the week with some slightly cooler than average temperatures. This evening we will slide into the 60s again. Showers ending we will keep the clouds for the first few hours of tonight. But eventually will clear out by tomorrow morning. Temperatures will be in the upper 50s and low 60s as you step out the door with mostly sunny skies. Lunch hour up to about 70 degrees, partly cloudy skies, few more clouds again as we get towards the afternoon and evening, a stray shower possible north, and then we'll look at our temperatures sliding into the upper 60s. More sunshine though Tuesday all the way through the end of the week. We'll look at the low to mid 70s through Thursday and then finally back into the 80s by Friday. Whitney? Marissa, I can